All right guys, so we're changing out the front brakes here on a Durango SRT here with the Brumbos. Putting in some Z23 power stops. So in case any of you are doing this on your own, so you know, just to get the wheels off here, it does take 22 millimeter lug nuts to get off here. And then if you can see right there, the screw that he's doing right now is a 13 millimeter. Just gotta unscrew that and pull that out. And once you do that, you got two pins. Just gotta gently get on there and pop them out. Depending on how many miles and how much brake dust is built up, it might be easy or it might be stuck. So go accordingly. These pads have about 9,500 miles on them. There, you just got to pull the pins out from the back, and they will be under tension. Obviously, once you get the first one, that'll pop down, that'll come out nice and easy. And then, don't forget also, too, to compress the pads back in for the pistons, that way, the pads are easier to get out. And also, too, on the Durango up here in the engine bay, your master cylinder for brake fluids right here on the back left corner, driver's side. So make sure you take that cap off. That way, when you compress these on here, you don't get any unnecessary pressure buildup. So just remember you do have six pistons on there and he's compressing back you right about each one there just so that way it's a little loose to allow for the new pads to get in and then from there well the pad comes out so i'm going to take a quick moment here guys real quick i'm going to clean this caliper up and then i'll put it right back on Alright guys, so on these power stops, they do say on the website everything specifically. You don't need to grease the back side of them, but they do recommend putting grease right here on the sides, which you can see here being done, just to allow for you no know, squeaking and whatnot. And they do provide you a packet of that grease if you want to use but we're using a different one here today but just put what you need on there it doesn't need to be a super amount just a very little bit there to make it do and you push your pads all the way in place and then the uh, metal bracket that does come off there you can use the same one uh, power stop does give you two different types of ones in the thing so you can see the difference here between the two. It's exactly the same. Obviously one's just shinier than the other. So you can really just continue to use the same one or not, it's up to you. In this case, we're gonna go ahead, since on the, we're gonna go ahead and use the new one, just so it's shinier and newer. That's all. <laughs> but they're exactly the same. So as you can see, we went ahead and put that 13 millimeter bolt back on there in the center. And it's on there pretty tight. So once you start tightening it up on there, once you get to a good spot, definitely go a few times just to make sure that it's nice and tight, not super overdone, but that way it's in there nice. All 
And from there, go ahead and put in the new bracket. Always make sure that that T part of the bracket's on the top part. That's how the other ones came off. So that's what he's gonna do here. little secret we found you put like a little screwdriver in between the hole there and put it between the rotors you can get a little leeway there so you can help you put the second pin in and then there you go guys both pins fully in bolt is on as you can tell, it's clean. Now, I didn't do the back part. I'm not worried about that. No one's gonna see that. But it was wiped down a little bit. But as long as the front part's good, that's all I'm worried about. And from there, you just go ahead and put your tire back on. All right, guys, so we went ahead and just got the lug nuts back onto the wheel here. We're gonna go ahead and set it down on the ground. And then what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna torque it. Now the torque settings are 110 pounds. So that is what we're gonna to torque them down to with the wheel on the ground. And that's it guys. All right guys, so for the back brakes here, pretty simple. Same 22 millimeter, take the wheel off. We're just giving a quick clean up, quick clean up to the uh, caliper, just to make it look, look nice and pretty. On there, nothing too fancy. And then on this one, it's just the two pins. There is no middle bolt, as you can see. It's just these two pins right there that he's pointing to. So all you gotta do is just tap both of those out. And then you do have that metal bracket there in the middle. Now we found out here with the ones that Power Stop gives you, they don't exactly match up correctly. And neither do the pins. So you will need to use the same OEM pins and that same bracket for this to work all right, which is fine. So I just wanna make sure you guys are aware of that. But all you gotta do is just pop both of those pins out. And same thing as before, you can press the brakes back a little bit. And there's only four calipers on here. Oh, I'm sorry, four pistons. And there you guys go. From there, we're just going to go ahead and put the brake grease, uh, brake grease on, and then set them in there and put those pins back in, guys. That's pretty much about it. Nothing too fancy for the back ones. Very simple. All right guys, just to show you here, all we did is put the little thing back inside, tap the pens back in, make sure everything's nice and tight. There we 
go. And that's it, guys. And then all you gotta do is put the wheel back on, torque it to one side. And that's how you do Brembo's change out on a Durango. All right, guys. So just a side note here. When you do get into the car after doing all your brakes and everything and all that good stuff and you get in, don't forget when you get in here, your brake pedal, okay, it's going to have no pressure at all because of the way you compressed the piston. So you have to pump your brakes. And when you push this brake pedal here, it's going to go all the way to the back on you and so you'll have to let go and you're gonna probably have to do that at least three times before you start feeling some type of uh, uh, pressure but once you get in your car just for a minute or two just keep pumping them on there and then you'll start feeling it how it used to feel that way it's compressing the pads now with the pistons on there so now I'm not pushing back as far as I was I was all the way down before so now I can feel it and then once you put do that just be very gentle like me I'm gonna get out of a driveway here but um, you need to go up to 40 miles an hour and then brake very aggressively down to 10 miles an hour, but you, need, but you don't wanna stop. And then you wanna go right back up to 40 again and then brake pretty hard back down to 10. You wanna do that five times. Once you've done that five times, then you wanna do a 35 mile an hour with mild braking down to five mile an hour. I didn't want to do that five times. That way you get that new layer of uh, a brake pad onto the rotors. So basically 40 to mile an hour to 10 mile an hour with aggressive braking five times and then 35 mile an hour to five mile an hour, um, not so aggressive, like medium braking. So that way it warms up the brakes and then puts on a nice even coat on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't really need to show that to you on camera. I just want you guys to kind of know exactly what's going on and how to do it on there okay all right other than that that's it for this video on how to do uh, brumbo brakes if you need comments questions or anything just comment below also please like and subscribe if you like what you saw here that would help me out tremendously here since i'm starting this channel and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video Bye bye